practice time guys first time shooting the boat since we landed you always want to check after a flight make sure everything's still on dead center We're good go to the high country. Too easy, dude. You can't get one. Whatever. Catch and release, man. You know what's funny is the pigs, hogs out here are seen as a total nuisance. I just don't have it in me to just go shooting, killing little pigs like that. So catch and release. He got lucky. It's a non rifle zone. and we get to these trees and they'd be in these trees but they are just before the trees and they blew. Welcome to uh, Hawaii Axis Deer Hunt. I can see some Axis Deer right there. It's a new little series we're calling Off Axis and uh, we're up here with my buddy Nick. Right here. Say what's up Nick. We figured well, we wouldn't figure. That wasn't planned, but a, a shooter about crossed the road in front of us, so we figured we'd try it. This is our first evening hunt, and uh, it's going to be a fun series. I'm just going to get right into the action. I mean, once we got into the stick brush, it wasn't going to happen, but that was cool. We got so close. You never know. Yeah, they're barking right there. Oh no, that's a pheasant. Anyways, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> and it just face crushed us. First, mm -hmm. first day in Maui hunting. <laughs> Got my first shed. It's a chalker. That's sweet. You know what I do with chalks, right? No, we'll keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. This is my first access deer. I'm keeping this. Heck yeah. Well, that was our first encounter with access deer. Not really the way we planned on it going, but we figured we'd take a shot. You have nothing to lose by trying. But yeah, we're going to cruise up this road. Um, Nick's got some spots, some big, big country. It's just absolutely amazing up here it's so green beautiful trees it's just really cool country to hunt axis deer in so i definitely will not hesitate to shoot one with a rifle on this trip we're definitely going to be putting an effort with the bow because we brought our tree saddles and we got everything we need to uh give it a good try and we have plenty of days to do it so on to the next zone we just saw a nice nice buck head up this way so we're gonna see if we can't find him again put a stock on Feeding down the, the side of that gulch right there, so looks like a different herd from the one that ran up there. Let's go check out how they're with them. Man, this, like if, he's, if we can get it on the bow. You just worry about the one. I'll just worry about that. If it's this other one, he's all yours, even if he's there, with, and you gotta shoot him with the gun. Don't I want that other one, but if he's not, that's one of the two. 
two that are on my list. But... Well, that was fun, man. We stalked into those deer 45 yards bedded. I don't know where the big buck went, but I'm guessing that big buck went up here to the right, so we're gonna run up to the top and see if we can't see him. But that was, that was fun, and I was very tempted to shoot a doe, which we can. Just kinda wanna hold out for a buck for right now. Good practice, though. I just hit that buck. Happened fast, like always. We snuck. This terrain is really cool because it's like super brushy. We got a lot of cuts, so it gives you a lot of terrain to stalk, but it also gives a lot of terrain for the deer to hide. But we popped up out of our bottom and Nick saw that herd. And uh, it was like there must have been a hot doe because a couple of the bucks were kind of chasing this one doe and that big buck was trying to push him off. And uh, Nick was nice enough. He's like, man, I'd like Eric to shoot. He's like, you want it? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to shoot one with a bow and there's gonna be plenty of time for that. But I was like, yeah, I'd love to get one with a rifle if I can while I'm here. So the buck came out. I think, pretty sure Matt was set up. Felt pretty good, but um, I think we hit him a little low. So we saw the buck come out of this gulch and up and over and into these trees right here. So we know he's somewhere in here and we figured we might as well just give him a minute, back up and get the side by side up here, give him some time and probably better safe than sorry. I think Nick and I both will pack a rifle uh, through this bottom and see if we can. We're either gonna find him dead or have to shoot him again. But looked like a stud buck, man, and he was really rutting. It's the end of May right now, and the bucks are starting to really get hard horn and rut, and literally like the perfect opportunity for me to get my first Hawaiian Axis buck with a rifle. That would've been pretty sweet. I think we're getting, we just need to play it smart. Yeah, I don't shoot it. 
Nick was lucky enough to see him. I jumped him, but down in that bottom, you don't see anything. So I'm glad I had Nick for backup. It's not the way you always want it to go down, but I mean, once he's wounded, it's like game on. The goal is just to finish him. And he's done conveniently. He died right on the road, but pretty wild, huh? Man, I need to try to get a more relaxed one next time. But we got our first deer in Hawaii, and it's a dandy. It is a dandy. Thank you, Nick. He's right there, guys. He looks pretty dang good. I'm no axis expert, but I know he's got some length. <laughs> Dude, he's a dandy. <laughs> right off the road is where he... God, dang it. Wow. Holy smokes, dude. God, they are pretty. They are so pretty. It's wild to think that we hunt these in Texas. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then you can hunt them in Hawaii. Well, guys, this is about, I'm no expert, like I said, but that's about as good as it gets in Hawaii. There's, there's bigger bucks. Like Nick has taken probably some of the best bucks I've seen on the island. And I know that's a good one for sure. He's got great eye guards on the front really long main beams which the big thing on the island is like how long this part is right mm -hmm. the main beam so that's the caudal point and those aren't really long that's pretty long for a for buck up here. here yeah okay so texas texas has got some mega caudal points yeah here they'll be half the size of that really? normally yeah but yeah that's a dandy buck and that that one right antler that thing's got some length right there how lucky are we to even have the chance to come hunt up here this place is gorgeous Nick's nice enough, like I said earlier, to invite us out here. He was going to shoot this, and at the last second, I don't know what you made him change his mind. He's been pretty excited to help me get a buck. Last time we came, and the majority of them had shed, so I just picked up a bunch of sheds with Nick. But yeah, we still got, I don't know, an hour and a half of daylight, maybe yeah. an hour. Okay. So that's the fun part of, of hunting up here is there's no bag limit, and there's no season, which is wild coming from the States. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nick, thanks, man. Of course. Dude, I appreciate it. This is freaking it's awesome. a hell of a I've, buck. <laughs> I've wanted to hunt and shoot a big buck on uh, this island since the day I came out here for my first vacation. And it's not easy to get access on land up here. So super grateful for Nick and his family to allow us to come up and do this. This is, this is a dream come true, man. And I was going to do it last year, but COVID hit and, you know, travel restrictions were pretty strict here on the island. And now we're out here doing it, finally. And I'd say it was worth the wait because we got a dandy, dandy buck. This buck has the look. That's a sweet buck, guys. We're gonna take care of him. We've got the side-by-side -side not too far away and we'll load him up and you ready to go hunt? Yeah. Man, what a first day in Hawaii. Uh, Nick typically does is take him full body. He's got, he's got a really cool setup. We're gonna go cruise around. We got just enough time to maybe get in a little bit of an evening hunt for Nick and yeah we're on the board on day one man still that's crazy I'm excited to try it with a bow we got plenty of opportunities to do it yeah it's awesome got Eric's big buck down and we're gonna go take a look at this other one that I've seen a couple times up here last time I seen him he was in velvet and hopefully he shed his velvet by now and we can get a chance at him all right so Nick scouted out a big buck up above here he says it's the biggest buck he's seen all year so he's gonna go try to get it and he's passed him up in velvet uh, Nick is like me he really likes hard antler so he's been waiting for him to rub and I would assume by now that he's probably hard horn so we're gonna go look for him and see if we can't find him I'm getting some cool phone scope footage there's two decent bucks over here and then the smaller one up here, but this is some really, really cool country. It's like high country, big pine trees with these big steep rocky slopes. A lot of deer. Guys, this is what I love about the phone scope, man. You get some cool footage from a long ways away. God, that's a pretty buck, dude. He goes so far. Oh, dude, that's a dandy. Nick says, Nick says he's not shooting him in velvet. <laughs> not quite big enough. 
That box right up there looks pretty good with the phone scope. Check that out. Okay, we made it back to uh, Nick's house. This is his little butcher area. So we've got some pulley systems I saw earlier. Some ropes. Oh yeah, there we go. We got some light. Let's check this out. Hang it from there. We've got a pulley system hanging from a rope up here. And let me show you these. These are Nick's bucks this year. These are the first two you've shot this season. Check this out. So he sent me pictures of these and first impression was I thought this one was like super pretty and I thought it was bigger. It wasn't until he sent me a photo of these two next to each other that this one was just like, to me, this one's next level because of the super heavy mass. And what is this side, 35? 35, yeah. So check that out. So 35 is big. That guy's 35 on this side. He is a little short on this side because something's up with his uh, pedicle here. And then this one's what, 34? Yeah. This one's... Mass pretty though man so yeah these are two great bucks and now that i see these together after seeing mine like he has definitely got some length but i, I don't think he's as long as the 35. you don't think but we're gonna find out you got the tape you got the tape it's going down the ground <clears throat> just throw him up right there i'm gonna find out what he is once and for all dude he's long he actually is pretty long. That Dude, or his caudal point is low. His shape is, is just killer. Uh oh. Right. Just shy of 34 by an eighth. On that side, let's see what the other side is. So, was that the longer side or the shorter side? Dude, I think this is the longer side. So he's probably just over 34, huh? Find out. Maybe. Probably right at 34, just barely over. Got, got it, dude. 34 and a half. Yeah, 34 and a half. That's a big buck. Oh, yeah. He doesn't have the mass like his 35, but he really does have the shape, man. Like, that's a pretty buck kind of in between like your 35 is a little wider and then your 34 is a little more narrow so this this guy's like right in between this is just textbook like pretty axis buck huh beautiful and i'm stoked <laughs> he's so cool so yeah we're gonna hang him cut him so the plan for us was we brought one yeti cooler bag matt and i want to take as much axis meat home as we can so we're going to take care of him tonight and see how much we can get frozen and ready for shipping but yeah that was just day one guys we got a lot of videos and honestly we might start throwing some of these days together we don't know how we're going to cut these videos but one thing we want to do is is show you kind of the experience we have here in hawaii and then show you the experience that we have in texas in the next few weeks and kind of do this whole off-axis series but this is a great way to start it i think this is going to be a fun week of hunting out here